Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about how to best get through power level quickly within Season of the Chosen. There have been some small changes, so let's talk about that. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel, that really helps me out. So obviously your first priority is to be able to grind up your seasonal pass as fast as you can and to get to your XP bonuses. In addition to that, you're gonna wanna start grinding up your soft, hard, and pinnacle cap. So the first thing I would do is make sure that you have a Go Shell that allows you to get bonuses to XP. That's gonna be really helpful. Next, if you've saved your bounties, obviously weeklies don't apply anymore, but if you saved your bounties from the previous season, this is what you would kind of do next. I would go into a matchmaking, not necessarily matchmaking, but some sort of six player activity or as many players as you can get, right? And I would turn in your bounties all as a group. And the reason for that is as you turn in your bounties, you're going to start getting fire team XP bonuses, which again, the more people you have, the more bonus that you're going to get. So I would do that. Again, for the things that start to reward you powerful drops, like for instance, strikes, crucible, gambit, barracks, or the gunsmith. And the reason for that is if you turn your eighth, that's gonna trigger your powerful reward, which you probably don't wanna do yet. The other thing is, since you're doing it from a previous season, there is a chance that it will not give you powerful reward and you'll, you'll get like a soft cap. That's not going to help you a great deal, so you don't want to do that. The other thing is I would turn in your bounties across all your characters. Again, as you do it on each character, that will let your seasonal rank go up, which will give you different additional bonuses. The one thing I wouldn't do yet is I wouldn't collect any of the armor on the season pass because you can use those as at-level upgrades. So for instance, as you're upgrading your armor and you're upgrading your power level, you can actually, let's say you need a, a class item, and that's one that's at a lower than everything else. If you get something off your seasonal pass, then you'll be able to fill that in and be able to get up to a higher light level quicker. At this point, I would go ahead and I would start the story campaign. There's nothing that's hurting you at that point. And I think it, it doesn't matter whether you're below 1250 or you're above, I would start on your highest character. Normally for a season, I would say start with your least favorite and work your way up. But in this case, you're gonna wanna get things as high as quickly as possible. And since you're really close, if not above the soft cap, it's not gonna gain you anything from going backwards. So I would start that. I would start on your highest level character. I'd work through the story campaign. Again, since you have those XP boosters, you're gonna gain XP quicker through the campaign. You may get some drops out of that. Then once you're done with that, here's, and at that point, you'll have most of your XP gains that you'll gain outside of bounties. Here's what you do next to kind of get your power level up as quickly as possible. So obviously now you're gonna to want to get to that eighth bounty for some of the key powerful drops. And what I would recommend for doing that is let's first go ahead and play through Crucible. If you play through Crucible, first off, you'll be able to pick up that eighth bounty. The other thing is, as you get Valor and Glory rank ups, which are really easy to do early in the season, those also give you additional drops that are at power level. So again, I would, I would get in I would do that, and as you're playing Survival and you're playing regular Crucible, you're also gonna get pinnacle and powerful drops from those playlists. So again, you're gonna start getting ranked up really quickly because you're gonna get, as you get Valor and Glory rank ups, you're gonna get, you're gonna get powerfuls, but you're also gonna get those from following those core playlists and from turning in that last bounty. Then I would go into Strikes. I would go into Strikes. I would go ahead and try to get that last bounty. If you play three Vanguard Strikes with the right burn, you're going to get a pinnacle out of that. Again, I'm not worried right now about saving your pinnacles because more than likely you're not going to get the max power light in the first week. It's possible, but it's not very likely. And since you're on Strikes at that point, if, it's, if you can at the power level you're at, I would try to dip my toe into doing uh, Nightfalls because you can get additional drops there. But again, that just depends on where you're at in your journey at this point. As you're going through this too, one thing to remember is to make sure you're picking up gunsmith bounties as well because the gunsmith bounties, again, when you get eight, you also get leveled up. So that's another good one to get. Next, I would go into gambit, get your last gambit bounty, get that done so you get to eight. And also as you play three gambit matches, you're gonna get a pinnacle as well. Also, Varix has the same sort of mechanics. Get one more bounty, turn that in, and you'll be able to get another drop from there. As you're playing, you're also going to get Prime Engrams. So again, as you're getting those, go back to the tower and turn those on. And also, as you're getting the level up, so let's say, for instance, you're doing the three gambits and you get that reward where you have to go back and turn it and get the Engram from, 
from the drifter and then go back and get it decoded, go ahead and do that because while they're just sitting there as engrams in your inventory, they're not gonna be helpful. But as you get them and turn them into armor and weapons, that's where it helps grind your power up. So do that constantly as you're going through this process. The other thing that's changed a little bit with, obviously with Europa coming into play, you can also do the Exo Stranger Challenge if you've actually unlocked that. So that's another thing that gives you a pinnacle. If there are any seasonal quests that happen to drop, check for those exotics or any seasonal. The, the seasonals usually, if they're legendary, they're still gonna give you a powerful drop. And if you get the exotics, obviously that's gonna be in an exotic. Now, if you really wanna tweak this a little bit more, there are a couple of other things you could do. You could try to go in and get a legend lost sector exotic if there is something you can grind for that can help you out so again you can do the master empire hunts that's a great place if the wrathborns are still there again i don't know if they will be but if that is you still have the ability to do that um, then what i would do is you could always use that to target because for each of those you turn in you can target it at like a helmet or a specific weapon or things like that to fill in slots as you're trying to upgrade and then you also get the pinnacle so that's useful once you get past that, you're kind of running out of things outside of end game activities. So obviously you could run trials the first week if you're up for that again. Um, you could also go through Deep Stone Crypt. That's pretty easy and there's tons of Sherpers who can help you with that now. And that gives you a ton of, of really high level drops. And then Prophecy does too. Prophecy will give you three powerful and a pinnacle as well. So again, those are things you can do on one character to kind of grind through things. At that point, you're going to be a decent level. What I would do at that point is then what we've done in the past. I would rinse and repeat. I would go to your next character. Um, I would go ahead and switch your, your weapons out so that, you know, again, you're, you're getting that next upgrade when you get those powerfuls that they'll be higher level. I would go ahead and do through the story campaign unless it's too long. And one of the reasons for that is that you, you, that will probably unlock other activities. And a lot of times people forget about that and then it's harder to do it later on right or it's just something you kind of forget about and then you can't get to some of those rewards really quickly and then obviously you can do that with your third character the kind of unknown at this point is there are some seasonal activities that are coming out they will be out that first week i'm assuming you'll have to play through the campaign to get them i would assume those probably have powerful drops as well but again we just don't know yet so keep an eye on that because again if it's something more like you know, the menagerie or the wrathborn hunt maybe to allow you to target things right so again i would keep an eye on that and then you should be able to get through things pretty quickly. So again, for the season, 1250 is your soft cap. Most of you are already at that or above. 1300 is your hard cap. And then once you get past the hard cap, obviously pinnacle rewards, the only thing will give you upgrades. And again, as a reminder, pinnacle upgrades are the following things. So you can get those from clan XP. So as you're doing activities, you'll be able to do that. Three gambit matches, three vanguard strikes, four crucible matches, Legend Glory, if you can get up that high, but again, that's that takes a lot of work. The Night Door, Nightfall Ordeal at 100k, obviously the Prophecy Completion, Trials 5 and 7 Wins, which obviously, that's a really difficult thing, but if you're good at that, go ahead. The Master Emperor Hunt, the Exo Challenge, and then obviously Deep Stone Crypt. Iron Banner will, I don't, Iron Banner won't be there that first week, obviously the next few weeks you can do that. And then if the Wrathborn Hunt completions, like you do all of the all the five, you know, there is that one pinnacle from Crow, but I don't think that will be available this season. And so that's it. So do those. The first week, I think it's okay to do the powerful and pinnacles because you're probably not going to get all the way through your pinnacle, your hard cap that first week. I mean, if you're lucky, you might be able to. And then as you go through that, then your second week, you can kind of do a more conservative approach with doing your powerfuls first and only your powerfuls, not messing with your pinnacles. And then slowly working up to that 1300. Once you're past that 1300, then only do pinnacles because the others won't help you out. And that's the video, guys. I hope it was really helpful. Again, for the most part, this is similar videos I've done in the past, but there have been some small tweaks for this season, which is why I want to put this video out. If it was helpful, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.